Yo, what's good, YouTube? Zamco here, aka Scoot, back with the APA Evolution. We have season one and week number four here. We're facing off against the Hartford Whelmers, coached by the Crispy Panda. As you can see on screen, he's got a pretty scary squad consisting of Mega Mawal, Thunderous Incarnate, Greninja, Reuniclus, Nettle King, Delmize. The, uh, I think I got Delmize on there twice. <laughs> but it. He does only have 10 Pokemon, so that is not too big of an issue. He's got the Como O, Typhlosion, Mantine, and the Armaldo, where his Zoom of uses are Thunders, Incarnate, and the Typhlosion. We have Zygarde 50%, Mega Diancie, Tangrowth, Crocodile, Slowbro, Miltank, Cobalion, Marowak, Alolan Marowak, that is. All forms of Oricorio and Piloswine, where our Zoom of users are Zygarde 50% and the Oricorio. So, my opponent's got some very scary uh, threats, such as Mega Mawal, um, has no switch ins, Thunderous Incarnate, a very potent Mon, Greninja, an amazing Revenge Killer, uh, Hazard Stacker, Suicide Lead, things like that. Reuniclus could be a defensive pivot, could be a Regenerator, a Spam, Calm Mind Sweeper, Acid Armor Sweeper, all kinds of things Reuniclus can do. Um, Nidal King is a very, very, very powerful wall breaker. Delmines gets access to Rapid Spin, which is really nice for my opponent. Removes hazards for Thunders Incarnate, Typhlosion, Mantine, so on and so forth. Como O can be scary. Dragon Dance or Stealth Rocks, Belly Drum, uh, Salic Berry could be scary. Typhlosion is a nuke. Um, it's an underrated fire type, in my opinion. I think it's got extremely nice merit with a uh, Choice Scarf or Choice Spec set. Obviously, it's not a switch into anything. Um, uh, Mantine gives the team some nice support with Roost and Defog. My dog's barking, sorry if you guys hear that. And then uh, my opponent has Armado, which can also wrap So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause until this dog quits barking. So we'll be right back. Um, we were interrupted. Now back. And we were going over my opponent's threats. And I believe, I believe we had actually just finished. So we're going to go over my squad now. Like I mentioned, uh, as you can see, the screen on, or see on the screen, um, our squad, our Z movie has been Zygarde and Ori Corio. Decided to bring a Z Zygarde. This match with Dragon Ants, Thousand Arrows, Outrage, and Extreme Speed with J with the Dragonium Z um, for the Devastating Drake. We are jolly enough speed to outpace, I believe, up to the Middle King, and uh, that allows us to pay outpace Choice Scarf Middle King after a DD, um, DD Como O after a DD, and then all of his non-Scarf users uh, pretty much easily. Mega Diancy is a uh, three attacks variant with Moon Blast, Power Gem, and Earth Power. Our last move being the Rock Polish so that we can outpace the likes of Thunderous uh, Incarnate and the Greninja, as well as any potential Choice Scarf users such as Nidal King, Typhlosion, or uh, even the uh, Como could potentially be a Choice Scarf user. That being said, we also have Crocodile, which is our own Choice Scarf user with an adamant nature and enough speed to outpace, like I mentioned, up to things like Nidal King and uh, obviously his Scarfless Mons will be outpaced um, due to my natural speed plus the choice scarf with Earthquake, Knockoff, Crunch, and Pursuit. Pursuit uh, it could be nice for things like uh, Reuniclus, Thunders Incarnate, Delmize, even, or even uh, to weaken things such as Typhlosion and Middle King. Um, it's just a really nice move overall. And then Knockoff to get rid of items. Earthquake and Crunch would be our late game sweeping moves. Next up, we have a Trick Room Slowbro with uh, Trick Room Scald, Psychic, and the Slack Off with Max HP, Max Spadef, kind of our Nettle King switch in, uh, basically our uh, check. I thought about running the Assault Vest, but Max HP, Max Spadef can avoid the same amount of two hit KOs and things like that. So it's really nice to bring this match up. We've got Cobalion with the leftovers, Stealth Rock, Bolt Switch, Taunt, and Roar. Obviously, we can't hit things like. Uh, the Nidal King or the Como O or Delmize for super effective damage or anything like that. But mostly here to get her rocks up, prevent his uh, mons from getting rocks up or setting up in general, and then having the Roar there so that if something like Reuniclus gets up a Calm Mind or uh, Como O sets up a Dragon that's in front of me or something like that, I can just roar him out and not really have to worry about too much. Uh, in the sense of him sweeping me like that. Next up we have a Swords Dancing, Brave Natured, Max HP, Max Attack, Thick Club, Alola Marowak with Flare Blitz, Shadow Bone, and Brick Break as our three attacking moves. Brick Break is there obviously just for the Greninja as Flare Blitz and Shadow Bone hits the rest of my opponent's squad for at least neutral or super effective damage as well as Swords Dance being our last move. So looking at my opponent's squad, um, he's got uh, a couple different 
lead options, such as leading straight up with his Mega Maw Wall, getting an Intimidate off, throwing up Stealth Rocks, and Middle King as a Stealth Rocker, Como O as a Stealth Rocker. So my designated lead is going to be my Cabalion. So let's go ahead and hop into the replay. Alright, so here we are with the replay, and my opponent chooses to bring the Mega Maw Wall, Middle King, Delmines, Reuniclus, Greninja, and the Como O. So pretty threatening squad. He has two potential, or really he's got three potential stealth wreckers, but I expect Mega Maw Wall to be more of a breaker for his squad, so I'm, I'm leaning more towards Middle King or Como O having stealth wrecks. And he has a very viable uh, choice scarf user in Greninja. So I'm thinking maybe that Nidal King has Stealth Rocks and Como O is more of a Dragon Dance or like a sub variant or something like that. So uh, just looking at Team Preview, I believe something like Renew Plus might be a Calm Mind variant, could be a Trick Room variant as well, and Greninja would be more than likely a uh, Choice Guard Revenge Killer to things like um, Crocodile, Cabalion, um, always outpacing Mega Diancy and Zygarde 50% after uh, Dragon Dance and things like that. And it would even outpace um, Cabalion, which would be my fastest Choice Scarf user as well. So, uh, Mega Ball Wall, Middle King with like really good breakers. Um, Middle King with a Life Orb with Modest or something like that. It's a really nice breaker versus my squad. Anyways, I'm going to lead off with my Cabalion. I do have Taunt and can prevent Stealth Rocks from any of his rockers. So I'm going to go ahead and lead with that and see what my opponent wants to do as he leads off with the Como O. So I'm just going to click Taunt here, prevent Stealth Rocks or uh, Belly Drums or anything like that. He does go for Rocks and now I'm going to Bolt Switch out as my opponent uh, just goes for the Dragon Tail and uh, he gets expected my opponent to go for a, another dragon type move here for the dragon tail to get my slow bro out i'm going to pull a switch out to my mega Niancy, but my opponent actually pulls a switch out into his greninja so now he has the uh the top advantage and i thought about this turn for a long time um expected my opponent to maybe uh not necessarily know what to click since i do have slow bro which resists hydro pump and then two actually three dark resist so I almost stayed in expecting my opponent to maybe taunt or just u-turn or potentially even get a spike up or a toxic spike as he did um had i stayed in there that would have been phenomenal for me but it was just too risky mega dynasty is still a solid win condition at this point so i didn't want to risk that just yet and i go into my cabalion here and what i can do is just get my rocks up as my opponent does go out into his middle king i can just hard switch into my slow bro which is my designated switch in um, to this middle king So nearly max HP max spadef pretty much taking nothing and I do have regenerator So I don't have to recover up. I can just throw off a scald here and I do catch a burn on the Delby So that's actually really nice for me. However, my opponent reveals the anchor shot And I could taunt him here or I could bolt switch once again my opponent's gonna rest and actually reveals to be uh, faster than me because I go for the roar um, had I taunted first, then he would still be burnt, and then I could uh, roar of the following turn. So that's really unfortunate for me. However, I do get his reuniclus in here, and I'm sure he's going to uh, attack me because I revealed taunt and a roar. But uh, I have to taunt anyway, just to be you know safest. And here I'm going to go for the volt switch as my opponent makes a, a decent switch into the middle king there, expecting that. Um, as I've revealed my entire set now, he can switch into Middle King pretty comfortably. And uh, I have, I have Slowbro here to always come in on the Middle King, though, and fire off free Scalds like that. And I catch another burn on the Greninja. So really nice Scalds so far. And I'm able to go into my Cabalion here as my opponent goes for the Dark Pulse here and gives me the attack boost. And here I'm going to switch, expecting my opponent to... Um, switch out as well, but he actually stays in. I expected the middle king to come in, but my opponent actually stayed in there and went for the hydro pump and got some nice damage off versus my Zygarde 50%, which um, is actually going to come into play. We'll talk about it where it happens. But he's revealed anchor, anchor shot here, so I'm going to go out into my uh, Cabalion here and I take nothing from the Shadow Claw either. And I'm going to be able to taunt here as my opponent just goes for the rapid spin. So nice play there, but uh, since I'm not clicking Roar. Uh, I am faster and I can always get my rocks back up. 
So here I go into my, uh, I lose Cabal in the first of all. I'm going to go into my Crooked All and I'm going to expect my opponent to want to uh, switch out. He has revealed Rapid Spin though, so I know he wants to Stealth Rock at the same time and I don't know if he's going to fear Pursuit. And he doesn't have an item. He's revealed Chesto Berry earlier, so he shouldn't be too afraid of Knockoff either. So I'm thinking my opponent thinks Pursuit is the play. So I'm actually going to click uh, the Crunch here, hoping that my opponent would stay in. But he, he didn't. He goes into Karma O, which is a fine play, and gets his rocks up as I go into my Mega and I see here. Um, and I'm just going to fire off a Moonblast. It will be able to two-hit KO over Uniclus or anything he wanted to switch into. A Moonblast into uh, Coverage Move will knock anything on his squad out. So he brings back into Delmas. I'm going to hard switch into my Crocodile, get the Intimidate off. As he's revealed a uh, Shadow Claw and Anchor Shot so far with Rest. So, and Rapid Spin as well. So, uh, I stayed in here because this was a roll to knock me out. He needed a maximum roll to knock me out. And he also needs a maximum roll here to knock out my Zygar 50%. So, I'm going to set up, um, ex expect him to survive here. And uh, my opponent is actually able to knock me out, which is really, really unfortunate. Because I could have actually kept Zygarde and kept it as a, uh, a sack or anything really. But at this point, I have to bring back in my Mega Diancy because Slowbro and a lot of Marowak are men's speed for Trick Room. So I want to be able to be able to outpace this thing 100%. So I'm just going to knock him out with the Moonblast there. He brings in the Nidal King, pretty much revealing Choice Scarf. And I'm going to go out to my Slowbro. I am going to be able to uh, eat up as many hits as he wants to go for really um and i can just go for the slack off here so my opponent pulls a hard switch into the mega mall wall and goes for the play rough as i'm going to click the trick room so what this allows me to do is get some uh, nice damage off here with the scald i do get a crit but that's not going to matter as my opponent is going to go for the swords dance i'm going to slack off here as my opponent goes for the play rough easily able to knock me out but i am going to be able to bring in my alola marowak and the plan now is to uh, put myself in a position to where I can knock out the Kermo O. So what I should have did was not click Swords Dance and attacked his Mawa to force his uh, Kermo O in so that I could bring in my Mega Diancy and uh, set up a Rock Polish on that. And as long as Greninja didn't have Water Shuriken, I could have won the game. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a nice... 3 0 lot. Well, not nice. It's going to be a 3 0 loss. But that was a nice game. Really fun. Um, I felt like a couple things didn't go our way and it changed the course of the match. But uh, that's Pokemon sometimes. And that's going to be uh, APA Evolution Season 1, week number 4. Um, we're actually picking up our fourth loss. But the last time we finished or started 0 4 with a rocky start, we also had a rocky finish finishing off, uh, I believe six and five so hopefully we can finish off strong and uh ha have a uh, you know panther not regret inviting us to the season anyways that's gonna be it let me know what you guys thought about the prep and the plays on both sides of the field leave a like comment and subscribe all the good stuff and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching